Welcome to the Mercer County Football Show presented by the St. Francis Medical Center, your heart hospital in the city of Trenton. Alongside the Trentonians, George O'Gorman, I'm Sean Lerman. And we are entering the second week of the Mercer County NJSI AA playoffs. This week on the WBCB Sports Network, we have Trenton at South Brunswick. That game will be Friday at 7 p.m. Definitely going to be a good one to tune into. But let's start with some of the stuff from last week and we'll open things up with a game that was on the WBCB Sports Network, Hopewell Valley, falling to Ocean Township 19-14, to George. Pretty uh, unexpected result. Hopewell had gone to Ocean Township last year in the semifinals, and uh, Austin Fellows really had a great game passing-wise, threw for about three or four touchdowns, and they came back in the second half and beat Ocean Township to reach the uh, Central Jersey final at uh, a week later at the College of New Jersey where they faced Lawrence. And, uh, you know, they, they handled Ocean Township pretty well. The amazing part about it was Ocean Township, a week before they played Hopewell this, this uh, last week, their best running back broke his leg. Right. He didn't and play. they still ended up beating Hopewell. I mean, that was a little bit uh, unexpected, but I guess Hopewell really didn't have much diversity in its offense. I know that uh, Lorenzo Bryant didn't have a spectacular game like I think people were expecting him to. And uh, Hopewell just... You know, that, that was probably the, a bigger surprise than anything else, being they were the number one seed in Central Group 3 as the defending champ. Yeah, and Ocean Township, I was talking to a couple of their coaches before the game, and they said, yeah, we're 3-5, and five, but we've played an insanely difficult well, schedule. So they came in into that game as a team that's probably better than a 3-5 and five team. Uh, but having said that, Hopewell Valley did probably need a bit of a bigger performance out of Lorenzo Bryant, so they end up falling to Ocean Township 19 to 14. Some of the other local teams that lost, uh, Nottingham fell to Carteret, they lost 35 to nothing, and Hamilton to Long Branch, 31 to 9. And Princeton lost at uh, Brick Township, uh, 48 rather, to 12. Rather one sided game there, and uh, really, it, uh, you know, it's typical of what happens to Mercer County teams when they go into the uh, into the Central Jersey playoffs, especially when they're playing teams from the Shore Conference. Uh, they really just. Uh, and it all goes back to the fact that the Mercer County uh, League is not a real strong league. Uh, you know, the only two teams that ended up winning out of the Colonial Valley Conference were Trenton uh, on the road and Allentown at home. Allentown rather convincingly 38-8 to in their debut in the Central South Jersey Group 3. They handled a Cumberland team very, very easily. Uh, Trenton, on the other hand, came from 17 points down in the first uh, half and ended up beating a fourth-seeded South Brunswick team, 27-24, on a phenomenal game by Andrew Holt. Uh, ran for three touchdowns, 233 yards, a career high. Great performance for uh, Tariq Holman and his uh, Tornadoes to, to get that win. Interesting, this will be the third game now that Tariq Holman will take the Tornadoes into a Central Jersey playoff game, and it'll be the third time he's playing an opponent that he had coached that previously. <laughs> he had coached for two years prior to coming to Trenton at Montgomery, uh, was their defensive coordinator. Prior to that, had been the uh, assistant coach at South Brunswick last year in the opening round of the playoffs. South Brunswick came to Trenton and handled the Tornadoes rather easily, and now he's going to be playing South Brunswick again. So he's played South Brunswick, Montgomery, and now South Brunswick again. It seems like Tariq can't get away from playing any of his uh, former programs where he had been an assistant at. So and again, he, he's done a great job with the Tornadoes. Oh, he absolutely has. Came in last year. I believe they were 8-2 and two that eight they and finished two. last year. And right now they're 7-3 and three going into this playoff game. So the, the Tornadoes having a really good year. Again, Trenton outset at South Brunswick. You can catch that game Friday at 7 p.m. on the WBCB Sports Network. We'll step aside and take a quick break. When we come back, we'll take a little bit more of a look at the games from last week here in Mercer County. This is the Mercer County Football Show presented by the St. Francis Medical Center, your heart hospital in the city of Trenton. Discover the dealer for the people, Haldeman Ford Subaru, Route 33 in Hamilton Township. One of the region's finest state-of-the-art service facilities for all makes and models. A service facility so good, local school districts get their buses serviced at Haldeman. Police fleets, local municipalities, Get their cars and trucks serviced at Haldeman. From oil changes to tire sales, Haldeman Ford services all makes and models. And they offer tires for just $10 over cost on name brand tires like Goodyear and Pirelli. 
and their waiting room offers complimentary food. And there's a special Wi-Fi room available for your use. So no matter where you purchase your car, get it serviced at Holdeman Ford, the dealership for the people on Route 33 in Hamilton Township. Hi, Merle Reese to tell you about our good friends at the Revere Restaurante Italiano in nearby Ewing Township at 802 River Road. I can tell you that from South Philadelphia to New York's Mulberry Street, there's no better Italian cuisine than that served at the Revere. Start your meal with one of their great appetizers or salads. Entrees include outstanding veal dishes, fresh seafood daily, excellent steaks and chops, homemade pasta dishes, daily specials, and much more. You can also enjoy their bar area, where on most weekends, entertainment is offered. The Revere also does off-premise catering and can accommodate private parties for any affair, including business functions. Call the Revere Ristorante Italiano for more information and reservations at 609-882-6365. 882-6365. The Revere Ristorante Italiano open Monday through Friday for lunch and seven days for dinner at 802 River Road, right off the Wilbertha Road exit on Route 29 in nearby Ewing Township. Welcome back to the Mercer County Football Show alongside the Trentonian Georgia Gorman. I'm Sean Lerman. This show presented by St. Francis Medical Center, your heart hospital in the city of Trenton. As we take a look at some more of the scores from last week, George, you mentioned Allentown defeating Cumberland 38-8. to But another team in the area, Rancocas Valley, had a big win over Millville 52-29. to A big-time offensive explosion there from Rancocas Valley. Yeah, they finally got the win on their home, the new home field. Right. They had opened that field uh, after playing on the road for the first six games. They opened the field and then lost two straight. And uh, <clears throat> the uh, boys from down at Mount Holly did a, you know, excellent job. At the, they were favored to win in that game. Uh, you know, they. Uh, I, I don't know what to make of it. Uh, you know, I think RV's got a shot in, uh, you know, in in, the, in the, their bracket, but. You know, it's going to take something to, uh, they've been an up and down team a lot this year. But uh, Lenape was a surprise. Lenape right. at home, a surprise only in the fact that they lost, not a surprise in who they lost to. They lost to Tom's River. Uh, that's an interesting situation there, which has always irked me out. There's three high schools in Tom's River, and they all play in separate brackets. You know, they're all about comparable size. One is in South Jersey, two in Central Jersey. The two in Central Jersey are in Group 4 and Group 5. I don't understand how that works out, but at any rate, that's what the NJSA does. But, uh, yeah, we had a couple of consolation games where teams won. Right. One of the more interesting games, I don't even know if you're aware of it, Sean, Notre Dame ended up beating St. Joe's Metuchen. That was an opportunity both. Notre Dame had finished ninth in its uh, South Jersey non-public A, and St. Joe's Metuchen had finished eighth. They were paired against Paramus Catholic, a nationally ranked team, probably one of the number the number one team, I guess, in all honesty, in the state of New Jersey. And they asked St. Joe's Metuchen, "You're going to go up to Paramus?" They said, "No, we don't want to play them." So they said, "Okay." They went to Notre Dame, and they said, uh, "You want to go up to play to Paramus Catholic?" And Choppy said, I'll give you the answer in one second. No, <laughs> we're not going. So Notre Dame ends up beating beating St. Joe's with touching 27-3. And the interesting point there is the game was stopped with four minutes and 59 seconds to play after a uh, player was run out of bounds uh, just after he had uh, he had been sacked by the Notre Dame defense. And a brawl ends up on the behind the St. Joe's bench. The referees... Uh, we're debating what to do. The St. Joe's coaches come out and said, end the game right here. So they wow. stopped the game. Notre Dame never finished it with 4.59 left to play. it. The interesting thing was in that game, there was all the, uh, you know, people were wondering, is this going to be Choppy Moore's last game after 33 seasons at Notre right. Dame? He told me, he said he hadn't really decided yet. Uh, he was going to talk it over with his family and see what happened. But uh, Notre Dame handled that game very well and finished with three straight wins. Uh, Alex Roman uh, did a, a great job running for uh, four touchdowns in that game. And I talked to Choppy later about him, and I said, you know, he's a really good running back, only a junior. He said, yeah, and he's even better as a linebacker. Right. He said, he's probably one of the best linebacker I've had here in 10 years at Notre Dame. And he's had some good ones at Notre Dame. But uh, the interesting thing there was if Choppy will be back next year, but that's 
we'll have to uh, keep our eye on what's going on in that situation. Otherwise, the Ewing beat Linden 14 to seven, or Rawway, excuse me, 14 to seven. Uh, Ewing had that game pretty much in hand, and in a game that a lot of people who were interested in, only because two teams were winless from Mercer County on Thursday night, uh, Allentown defeated, uh, excuse me, West Windsor South defeated Robbinsville 12-7. So that, that was an interesting thing. It was, it was good there that, uh, you know, Skip Edwards got, got his first win, uh, avoided an 0-10 season, finishes 1-9. Robbinsville, unfortunately, under Andrew Patterson, uh, major rebuilding, they ended up uh, going 0-10. Couple other results from uh, the consolation playoff games that were played on the fr on the Thursday before the playoffs actually opened. Steiner lost at uh, Jackson Liberty. I think it was twenty-eight to fourteen. Thirty-five to thirty-five 14 to fourteen. Final. And Heightstown lost at home twenty-eight zero to uh, Colts Neck, which was a winless team. But again, it's another Shore Conference team that plays a brutal schedule in that right. Shore Conference, one of probably the most uh, balanced and most powerful leagues in the state. And uh, they came in and handled handled Heistown rather convincingly in a game that started in the rain and ended in the snow. And uh, it, it, was, it was a brutal night. I was out there. And uh, really, you know, it wasn't a nice place to be. But, you know, at least, uh, at least for the Rams, you know, they ended up with three wins. Uh, so, I mean, you know, it's, it was just another major rebuilding year for Heistown. And it was a major rebuilding year for a lot of teams in the in the Mercer County. Uh, one final score from last week: Lawrence fell to Red Bank Regional, thirty-eight to eight. Lawrence finish, finishes the season at three and six. We'll step aside, take a quick break. When we come back, we will preview some of the big matchups for this coming weekend. We have Trenton Central at South Brunswick, Central Regional at Allentown, and Williamstown at Rancocas Valley. We'll take a look at those games right after this. Jerry Blavin here to tell you about St. Francis Medical Center, the heart hospital in the city of Trenton. St. Francis Medical Center is one of the region's top cardiac care centers, serving all of Mercer, Bucks, and Burlington counties. Their staff of highly trained physicians provide state-of-the-art heart care to patients with cardiovascular disease and pride themselves as being the only regional heart center to offer a full spectrum of individualized services. And Consumer Report ranks St. Francis Medical Center in the top 10 hospitals in New Jersey for safety and the number one hospital in Mercer County, St. Francis Medical Center, the Heart Hospital. Don't forget if you miss any of your local high school sports action, you can read all about it in tomorrow's edition of the Trentonian. For your complete local and national news seven days a week, it's the Trentonian or online at thetrentonian.com. The only newspaper serving Bucks, Burlington, and Mercer County seven days a week, it's the Trentonian. Welcome back to the Mercer County Football Show presented by St. Francis Medical Center, your heart hospital in the city of Trenton, alongside the Trentonians, George O'Gorman. I'm Sean Lerman. Some big matchups this week. The biggest one of all, perhaps, on the WBCB Sports Network, Trenton Central at South Brunswick this Friday at 7 p.m. And, George, that should be a really good game. It should be a really good game, but I would say that Trenton is probably a two-touchdown underdog going, really? going into that, that game. that much? Uh, South Brunswick, one of the top ten ranked teams in the state. They've got an outstanding running back. Uh, you know, they're just an excellent program. And uh, But, again, Tariq Holman will find a way that, uh, to come up with some good defense, as he did last week when, uh, when Trenton came back from 17 down and really turned up the defense and uh, were able to run the ball against Montgomery and shut down Montgomery's quarterback, who was supposedly the top passer in the, in the state of New Jersey, headed to West Virginia. But the Tornadoes did an excellent job, and as we said, Andrew Holt, 230-plus yards. And uh, Keon Tootle, great play, uh, caught a touchdown pass. And the Tornadoes' defense really stood up in that game for a lot of kids going both ways. You know, big underdogs, but uh, hey, another, another uh, quality win for Tariq Holman in the Trenton program, which is one of, y one of the younger teams in Mercer County. Yeah, and, a and lot should, of sophomores. It should be even better next year. I didn't understand it because, for some strange reason, <clears throat> the Trenton High roster has Andrew Hull listed as a junior. And I said to uh, Tariq, I said, wow, that's great. I said, you got your whole defense, your whole offensive backfield coming back. He said, no. He said, uh, Andrew Hull's a senior. 
Oh, okay. I said, but your program, listen, Mr. Junior, we said, oh, don't even go there. He said, I don't want to <laughs> even get into that. He said, but uh, he's our captain, and he did an outstanding job. And I think that, uh, you know, on the other, the other win was for uh, Allentown, and uh, Michael Curry really, I mean, not that he didn't, well, wasn't already pretty much on his way to being the, uh, probably the player of the year. I think the 12th Man TD Club should be honoring him as their uh, player of the year, but I think... Uh, he also had a, had a great game offensively, uh, passed for over 100 yards, ran for over 100 yards. So he's he's topped 1,000 yards passing and rushing this year. That's pretty phenomenal. That is, that's pretty incredible. But, uh, he, he's, he's an outstanding talent. And uh, I think that uh, Jay Graver's club should be able to get by Williamstown this week, which would then set up a championship game uh, the, two weeks later down at uh, – I guess it'll be in South Jersey, maybe at uh, uh, one of the colleges down there, I guess Stockton State or okay. wherever they play at down there. See, uh, the teams up here usually go to Kane or to Rutgers, but uh, I think South Jersey will pretty much keep their teams down in uh, South Jersey to play, although Allentown is technically Central Jersey. But at any rate, you know, it'll, it'll be great for Jay Graber and his program if they can uh, get to that championship game and win it. And <clears throat> it would be a... Uh, was the fourth consecutive year that uh, Mercer County team would be in the uh, sectional final. Steiner three years ago, Nottingham two years ago, last year Lawrence and Hopewell Valley, and this year it could be Allentown. Of course, we'd love to see Trenton there too, but I really think it would take a major, major uh, performance by the Tornadoes to get past South Brunswick. Yeah, they have a tough matchup. South Brunswick 9-0, and but the Tornadoes 7-3, and and after an 8-2 season last year, they got off to a bit of a slow start this year. Well, remember the way the schedule worked out. Trenton played Rancocas Valley <clears throat> in their opening game and uh, opened, the, opened the season uh, driving 80-some yards for a touchdown, and after that, Rancocas Valley just put it together and beat the Tornadoes. Right. Then two weeks later, they went down to Lenape and played, and uh, they got beat 44-0. But those were the only losses for the Tornadoes until their uh, their ninth game of the season when they lost to Allentown. So, Rancocas Valley and Allentown have moved on to the second round of the playoffs. Lenape got knocked off uh, by Tom's River. I think it was Tom's River South. But at any rate, uh, certainly no uh, you know no disgrace for the Tornadoes, even if they were to lose to. Uh, be interesting because they would be playing. This would be the fourth undefeated team that Trenton has played. No. No, because Allentown had lost to Lenape, that's right. This would be the third out of four opponents that the Tornadoes have played as undefeated. Wow. But they've done a pretty nice job oh, in yeah, a lot of those job. games. Excellent job. So some big games this week in Mercer County. Trenton Central at South Brunswick. That game on the WBCB Sports Network Friday at 7 p.m. In South Jersey Group 3, it's Central Regional at Allentown on Friday. And South Jersey Group 5, Williamstown at Rancocas Valley. That game also... Friday at 7 p.m. This has been the Mercer County Football Show presented by the St. Francis Medical Center, your heart hospital in the city of Trenton. He's the Trentonian's George O'Gorman. I'm Sean Lerman. Have a good one.